Hey guys, this is Tiffany, aka Miss Beautiful. And if you're new here, I make beauty, hair, and lifestyle videos along with weekend vlogs. So if that's something you're interested in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. And if you're returning, welcome back, sis. <laughs> So as you can see by the title, today we will be reviewing, swatching, talking about the ColourPop No Filter Concealers. I am so excited to try these out because for one, I've heard nothing but good things about them. ColourPop is just so affordable and their products are always great. So I'm, I'm ready to get into it, okay? <laughs> but before we get into the video, make sure if you like this video to give it a big thumbs up. That helps the video out a lot. And I would really appreciate it as well. So, let's get into it. Alright guys, so here is my package. So here are the concealers. My lighting is very bright. <laughs> so, Alright, so these are the concealers. This is what the packaging looks like. This is ColourPop No Filter Concealers. And here are the concealers. I purchased five. I'm just going to show you what it looks like this feels like first off this cap feels like very plasticky and it's kind of waxy so this will get dirty so if you're doing your makeup and you tend to get it on your hands this will more than likely get dirty and i'm just gonna rub this and see if it comes off easy because i know with the um lip products you rub them <laughs> and it comes right off so i just want to see no, it's not like I'm literally scraping my nail across this and it's not coming off. So good. So again, I did purchase five of these just because I want to be able to do three things with these concealers. So I want to be able to conceal any blemishes or discoloration on my face and to highlight and to contour. So I didn't know what color I needed. So I got the five darkest shades. And also, I wanted to get the last five, just so for the ones who haven't placed their order and are debating about what colors to get, you see this video, it could help you out. So, <clears throat> all right, so these concealers do retail for $6 a piece, and they have 0.14 ounces. I'm going to compare it to my LA Girl Pro Concealer, because that's what I usually use. The LA Girl Pro Concealer is 28 ounces, 0.28 ounces. Um, so it's definitely a lot less product in this. I'm thinking this is going to be something that you have to purchase often, especially if you wear makeup every day. All right, so last thing before we get to applying these concealers, I'm on the ColourPop website. I'm going to read what these concealers will claim to do. And by the end of this video, we will see if they did everything that they claim to do. So, so it says this concealer is a lightweight, creamy, full coverage concealer formulated with soft blurring pigments to create the ultimate matte, flawless complexion. All right, guys, so I'm zoomed in here and don't know my face. I've been eating like crap, so my face... It looks like crap <laughs> all right so i'm gonna do this side this side of my face looks a little better than this one <laughs> but let's get right to it so for one the applicator is really nice really long you get a lot of product on the applicator and this is how long it is this is really cute like that's cool this that i'm swatching is a deep tan so we're gonna go here Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> wow, okay. Um, I don't think I'll be able to do anything with this one. Did y'all hear that? <laughs> so yeah, I don't think I'll be able to do anything with this one. This is just like way too light. So this has like a peach undertone to it. Yeah, that's that. So next one. Next one is Deep Golden 60. And again... The applicator is amazing and it was so soft against my skin. Like, it felt like butter, for real. Okay, so let's do this. Okay. Um, <laughs> they look the same. Like, oh. This one has more of like an olive undertone. And this one is peach, but they, they resemble each other a lot. And this one is still quite light for me as well, so. 
All right, so the next one is a rich tan, I think. Yeah, rich tan. All right, so it's getting darker. It's getting there. It's getting there. Okay. That's nice. The rich tan has a, like, red undertone to it. And, hmm, I'm still thinking this one might be a little too light. But let's watch the next one and see. All right, so the next one I have, what, what is this? <laughs> the next one I have is Deep. Okay. Let's see. Huh. And this is a more warm undertone concealer. This one might be pretty good for highlighting. Now, I did hear that these concealers oxidize, so we are going to let this dry a little bit and see if they become darker. But all these seem super light. And this last one is Rich 75 or Rich, whichever. Okay. Now, I like this. This might actually be <laughs> my skin complexion. I was thinking I could contour with this one. But this is looking like my skin complexion right now. So they definitely need some darker shades, okay? But I did hear them say, you know, we know that there's a lot more skin tones out there. So they're definitely going to make more shades, so I hope. But yeah, they definitely need some. All right, don't mind my terrible skin right now. Just look at the concealers, okay? I'll just look at the concealers. <laughs> so we're going to wait and let these dry a little bit to see if they oxidize, if they get darker, so I can see which one will best do what I'm trying to do with these concealers. So it's been about 10, 15 minutes, and I did touch them, and they're not quite dry. <laughs> but, um, I ain't got all day, okay? But we gonna go with what we got, okay? Hopefully it doesn't oxidize too much more than it has, so. I'm thinking we'll probably have to mix these two because this one, I don't know. I'm going to put it all on my face first and blend it in. And if we need to mix it, then I'll go in and try to mix it with this color. I don't know the colors. I don't know. Um, but these other three, these first three, I don't think I'll be able to use at all. So we're just going to go ahead and take these off. All right, so we are going in with Rich, and I'm gonna try to cover all of my discoloration, which will be my entire face, so here we go. It's a very red. I'm more of a orange, warm undertone, so we'll see how it goes. So I pretty much cover my whole face with just one dip of this applicator. Like I have not had to dip back into the product at all. So I love this applicator because it does seem to hold a lot of product. It does really look like my skin tone. Okay. So I'm going to go in with a beauty sponge and it is damp. really good wow okay all right call up all right now sis <laughs> this looks really nice let me get my forehead definitely matte it is it does feel very lightweight like I feel like I, I hadn't applied anything to my face and it blends out very smooth like I didn't have a hard time blending it once I got it started and she looks good to go um I'm going to go around my mouth a little more because it is still a little dark 
around there and see if the coverage is buildable. barely touched that concealer and then blend it out like wow I didn't think I would be the darkest shade that they have but I guess I am <laughs> so we're gonna go on with it now I'm going in with a deep 70 to highlight under my eyes down my nose my forehead on top of my well on my cupid's bow yeah all that stuff <laughs> so, this applicator it's amazing <laughs> like literally it just glides glides oh my god like I, this literally makes me want to cry because I'm so happy for this applicator like huh oh my gosh want to show you guys the uh, the applicator it is very flexible if you guys can see this very flexible like it's <laughs> flimsy for one thing I thought it was gonna break and I hope it doesn't but I hope you guys can see that it's very bendable so it's gonna fit anywhere you put it on your face <laughs> um, so yeah very I, I just wanted to show you guys how bendable and flexible it is you probably think it's gonna break like I did but it's intact so far <laughs> all right so I do have to dip back in just to finish my other eye and y'all look at this oh my god this thing oh my god wow I just it just amazes me how great this is all right so we are about to blend this out look at just how fast this stuff blends out like really I might have put too much <laughs> I might have put way too much actually yeah girl we put too much <laughs> oh lord oh. I'm going to swatch the LA girl pro concealer because that's usually what I use so this is in the color chestnut with the LA girl pro concealer they really look identical kind of don't they all right, so I'm going to be setting my concealer with the Sasha Buttercup Powder. It looks so good, right? You can disagree, but <laughs> I think it looks pretty good. Like, it's really giving me that no filter look right now, but not just with the concealer alone. and try to contour so let's just do this really quick yeah not dark at all <laughs> just gonna do those two just for the sake of time Okay guys, so I'm going to set the rest of my face, put on some mascara, and I will come back to you guys with my final thoughts on this concealer.
Alright guys, I am back and pretty much what I did to my face was I lightly set my face with my uh, pressed powder. I did a little powder contour and I put on some lip gloss and some mascara. Very simple look. I didn't put much on top of the concealers to like weigh my face down or anything or try to try to change the way these concealers look or anything like that. So I was touching my face and uh, <laughs> it feels amazing like it feels like a new set of skin you close that door do y'all hear what this man said to me he said he put <laughs> my makeup in the toilet and flushed it He's playing because he wants his life, okay? I'm just saying. But anyways, guys, let's get back to this review. I'm not even worried about what he's talking about because he cries. All right, so it is very lightweight. I was actually, once I finished uh, putting these products on my face, I touched my face and like, it literally feels like a new set of skin. Like, where did this flawlessness come from? Because Tiffany, like, you've been eating like crap lately, like, so it feels very smooth i will say that it smooths out your skin and it just it just makes your skin look and feel really smooth it is lightweight i don't feel like i put a ton of product on my face even though it did look like a lot i probably could have put a lot less <laughs> than what i did it is very lightweight all right so creaming yes <laughs> these concealers are very creamy they slide glide they glide across the skin so good. Like, it literally gave me chills. Y'all seen that? Like, literally, <laughs> I was about to get chills, okay? So, check that off. Full coverage. I would probably say medium to full. When I applied the um, Rich Concealer, which I didn't put it everywhere, um, but I still had to go back around my laugh, my, my, laugh, my laugh lines and do like a second layer because it still looked a little dark. Um, so I would say medium to full coverage because when I packed it down a little more, it did look a lot better. So I won't say just plain out full coverage. I will say it's buildable to full coverage. So the ultimate matte flawless complexion. I will say that it gives me a very nice matte flawless look like these concealers are really good again they're six dollars so they're very affordable <clears throat> i love the applicator on them again they're they were very flexible and it was easy to apply the product with you don't have to keep dipping into the tube because the applicator carries a lot of product like you guys seen i did my like <laughs> i covered all of my blemishes which was my whole face um <laughs> with just one dip into the product so you definitely don't need a lot i would say a lot goes a long way as you guys can see when i was highlighting under my eyes i put a lot a lot <laughs> now i will say the concealer does do a little creasing it didn't say on the website that it was like creaseless or crease proof but i have heard that it said it maybe like in the pr packages uh from other reviews that i've seen but it is creasing and I got up in there when I was blending it out. So it does definitely crease. Other than there needing to be, of course, more shades, more in-between shades, and of course, more darker shades, different undertones. I think these concealers are a go. Like, I think they really are. I think it's worth giving a try. So yeah, guys, that is it for my review today. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, uh, see?